we're getting ready to go on our trip to Boston, you know, we've been talking about like museum visits and also about the symphony, about the college and what to expect and all these things that we're about to do in the next couple of days. Well, I think it's like a perfect time to share a little story about some museum rules, a story that actually happened to me, a story about, oh, I don't know, not touching the artwork. I know, right? Pretty obvious. Like, don't touch the artwork. Well, listen carefully. I was with a friend at an art museum and I have a little story and it goes like this. It's a real like, you know, life lesson. So Gigi, a good old friend of mine, and I were having a lovely day in Rockland. We were just killing some time before needing to head home on the last ferry when I remembered that I had a free pass as an art educator to the Farnsworth Art Museum. Now, a lot of you probably remember the Farnsworth because we visited that in like middle school. I think we went on a field trip there. So a lot of you know it's right on Main Street in Rockland. Okay, so Gigi was an art history major, so heading into a museum with her was like definitely gonna be awesome. She was gonna have like way more little stories and tidbits and I really was looking forward to like walking around with her. Like, you know, and then head on the ferry, go home, no big deal, like uneventful day. Um, okay, so check this out. I'll, I'm gonna spoil the end. We got scolded by a security guard and let me tell you how, okay. So we made our way through the galleries. We were admiring one Wyeth painting after another, as we did in middle school. You remember that, I'm sure. And um, we turned the corner and Gigi's jaw dropped. We were standing in front of an impressive Thomas Cole painting and she launched into a monologue about her love of this style of painting. So Gigi, being from upstate New York, she had a ton to say about these Hudson River School of Painters. And I was like all ears. I was like, tell me more, tell me more. I'm drooling like over every single thing that she says. So she started talking about the delicate brush strokes and got super close to one of the paintings. Okay, you have to check this out. She was like gesturing to something that she really wanted me to see. And she was had her, let's pretend this is a museum map. It's actually from another museum. It's from the CMCA also in Rockland. So she's got her museum map and she's gesturing towards her painting. Wait, this is my favorite mosquito painting. I know it's not a Thomas Cole, but I just love it. Okay, back to the story. She's got her museum map and she's gesturing like, oh, look at this and look at this. And she's getting so close talking about the intricate brushstrokes. Oh, I'm not even gonna do it to my painting, but she touched, what? She touched the painting with the corner of her museum map. Holy moly, she couldn't believe she did it. I couldn't believe she did it. And no sooner did the corner make contact with the painting out of nowhere, a very tall, very serious, I mean, he was a little bit friendly looking. I mean, he wasn't like yelling or anything, but he was tall and serious. He was looming over us, directing us to step away from the painting. I believe his exact words were, ladies, I'm gonna have to ask you to step away from the painting. Oh my gosh, words simply cannot explain how mortified we both were. We apologized profusely, of course, like whispering in a museum, we're sorry, we're sorry, 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 sorry. And we quickly moved along to the next gallery. We were giggling like in that way where you like something horrible has happened and you don't know what else to do, so you're like giggling. Oh my gosh, we have never been so embarrassed in such a formal setting and I never, ever, ever, ever forgot that. So I tell you this tale so you don't make the same mistake I did. So here's the takeaway for our trip to Boston. Number one, do not, under any circumstances, touch any of the artwork. Like even if you just do that one rule, you're good to go. Also number two, um, choose your friends wisely. <laughs> Just kidding, I love Gigi, it was fun. She didn't mean to do it and she's great. It's, it's an old story that we tell each other over and over and over again, but yeah, choose your friends wisely in an art museum. Um, so we all make mistakes, no one died, no one got hurt, no one was thrown in jail, but it was a good reminder and it's a story I carry with me into every museum and gallery I ever go in. You better believe that I will be thinking of it as we head into the MFA in Boston and we all get a little time to ourselves to explore the works on display. You should also keep my story in mind, okay? So that's my story. It's kind of funny. It's like funny and um, you know, a cautionary tale. So anyway, can't wait to go to the museum with you guys. circumstances should you touch the artwork at an art museum. You might want to touch the artwork, you might think nobody's looking, but take it from me. 
don't touch the artwork at an art museum unless you want to have a very tall, very serious security guard looming over you saying, ladies, step away from the painting. Okay, guys, that's museum tip number. I know Mrs. White said something about not touching the artwork in an art museum, but I really, 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 really want to touch this Monet haystack, and I don't even think anyone's looking. Excuse me, sir, I'm going to have to ask you to step away from the painting. I repeat, step away from the painting. Thank you. Mm -hmm.